Kelly Space and Technology and Eclipse Space Lines combine the tow launch technology with a complete system for processing payloads and delivering them to low Earth orbit. It begins with the delivery of the customer's satellite to one of the Eclipse Space Lines launch facilities. Here, the second stage is connected to a universal payload pallet prior to being mated to the satellite, which is being separately processed in the facility's state-of-the-art clean room. The complete second stage and satellite assembly is then loaded inside the Kelly Astroliner aerospace plane. On the runway, the Astroliner is connected by cable to a specially modified 747, which is used to tow the Astroliner to takeoff speed. Once in the air, the two craft climb to approximately 20,000 feet where the Astral Liner's rocket engines are ignited and the tow cable is released. The Astral Liner then begins its ascent. By the time it reaches an altitude of 400,000 feet, almost 75 miles, it is traveling more than 6,000 miles per hour. Immediately following main engine cutoff, the nose of the Astral Liner swings open and the payload assembly is deployed from its huge cargo bay. The aerospace plane executes a pitch maneuver designed to distance it from the second stage, which then ignites and begins its transit to orbit. When the payload reaches orbit, the second stage and the satellite separate. The second stage is then safely deorbited and the satellite enters its final mission configuration. Meanwhile, the Astral Liner has begun its return to Earth. Once it re-enters the atmosphere, the pilot uses its wing-mounted jet engines to provide additional maneuvering capability. It then lands at any conventional airfield with sufficient runway length. From its tow launch to touchdown, the entire Eclipse launch mission has lasted only 30 minutes.